Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today I will be reviewing Who Farted Will Do It Live. This is a Belgian triple IPA and I'm going to give a big shout out to my good buddy Steve and Julie for hooking me up with a can of this. Now this was the very first time that Who Farted actually did a ticketed release and it was on a Saturday. We're at a liquor store, so I can't really get Saturdays off, so they went and they kindly gave me one of these. I'm really looking forward to it. This is a really unique beer, actually. So they are using Huel Melon, Mandarina Bavaria, and Opal hops. Those are some of the newer German-style hops. And then they are also using Zaka and El Dorado in this. And for the yeast strain, they are using the Orval yeast strain. So very cool stuff. Really looking forward to checking this one out with you guys. If you don't know, and I'm not sure how you couldn't know with that face on, there. This is a Bill O'Reilly reference because that crazy son of a bitch had a freak out on live TV many, many years ago. As a matter of fact, there's several YouTube clips. I'll actually put a link to one of them in the description or, or somewhere in the video or something like that. And you guys can watch it. But uh, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Ooh, yeah, they definitely got the, the IPA part of this down. Yeah, that's really nice. Up front, I'm getting like some nice citrus, definitely a little bit of like some melon kind of notes. Definitely getting a little bit of some very light pineapple, maybe a touch of like peach in there too. I am getting some like spicy Belgian yeast strain, but it's not super, super strong to me. Also getting like maybe a little bit of like some banana kind of esters. Yeah, a touch of clove. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of surprised. I was expecting the Belgian yeast to really have this bigger, more aggressive character to it. And it's definitely in there, but I think the hops actually dominate the Belgian yeast strain a little bit. Yeah, some spicy Belgian yeast, almost like a white pepper, black pepper kind of thing going on. But yeah, definitely getting some pineapple. As I'm pretty much getting every single Huvarted beer, definitely getting a little bit of like orange, melon character. Yeah, this smells pretty damn tasty. Let's go ahead and take our first sip. Ooh. Mmm, that's really nice. Up front, I definitely get some bright citrus, kind of like sweet orange. Almost a little bit of like a slight tangerine quality, too. Mmm, really nice. Definitely getting some like juicy pineapple, mango, a little bit of some peach. Not getting a ton of like that real spicy Belgian yeast strain, but I am getting a little bit of like banana, clove, definitely getting this like bubble gum type of thing going on too, which you know, you can get in a lot of I think Belgian beers, sometimes like Saison's, triples, that kind of thing. So it definitely has that bubble gum thing going on. Really nice stuff. Kind of different for these guys, and I, I gotta say, I'm actually really enjoying this one. Mmm. Yeah, I really like that. So it's like sweet tangerine, juicy, kind of like orange peel, a really nice pineapple note, mango, again, some like peachy kind of notes. I do get a little bit of like a melon character too. I definitely get more melon in the actual aroma as opposed to the taste, but definitely in there. And then like some clove, banana, a little bit. And I mean a very, very little bit in the actual taste of like that spicy Belgian yeast. And then I get a decent amount of that bubble gum kind of on the finish. It's, wow, this is, yeah, this is actually really interesting, really nice stuff from them, too. It's medium-bodied, crisp, clean kind of finish to it. Has a decent level of bitterness, but not too bitter. It's actually a little bit less bitter than some of their other beers, as a matter of fact. But it still dries out nicely on the back end, gets you ready for another sip. And that 8.5% alcohol, yeah, nowhere to be found whatsoever. Can't taste it, feel it, nothing. Really, really nice stuff. It actually almost has like a little bit, le it definitely has less effervescent than I'm used to for like a Belgian style type of beer. And the mouthfeel is almost slightly creamy in this one. Yeah, I really, really like this actually. Wasn't sure what to expect, you know, especially with American Brewery doing this. I mean, it is a Belgian triple IPA, so it's not exactly two style, but I really, really like this. In terms of rating, guys, I'm going with a 9.3 out of 10. I think this is a great beer. 
They really nailed that IPA aspect of it. Again, like juicy pineapple, orange peel, mango. Definitely getting a little bit of that melon character. And then it also has just that nice, really big, like, bubblegum character. And it just works with these juicy, fruity hop notes. Get a little bit of that spicy Belgian yeast, the, the banana, clove. Just everything really, really works. Super refreshing beer, too. I kind of hope they do this again soon. This would be perfect in the summertime, and I'd love to see them do a little bit more with the Belgian style of beers, too. So, cool stuff. If you guys can get this one, definitely worth checking out. Alrighty, guys, that does it for this beer review. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button for me, and remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. See ya.